It's the cargo shifting, Captain. Check it out! Yes, sir. We'll check it out. The hold down straps are tight, Captain. I think there's something moving around in here. Look at Dave, I bleed easy. Look inside that cargo. What do you got? Trying to get the crate open, sir. Sir, there. There are warning signs all over this. Sir, I don't think this is such a good idea. It's top secret, but go ahead. You got my permission. Open it up. There ain't nothing in here, sir. Oh, my God. Right there. What did you say? Why did you stop? You just called me Robert. No, 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 no. I said Roberta. No, you said Robert. There was no ta at the end of it. Roberta, please excuse my improper alliteration in a moment of ecstasy. I promise. Next time, I will get your name right. Look, I'm sorry. I know that you see guys sometimes. I just hope I'm the only girl you see. You are the only girl I see. <sighs> oh. Mm. That feels good. Oh, not so tight. Not so tight. What's too tight? Christ, you're scaring her. Scaring her? Is she just giving you a hug? Hi, baby. I don't know why you had to bring that overgrown worm with you anyway. I hate that thing. It could have bitten me. Lady G is a python. She doesn't bite, she squeezes. Besides, I can't leave her at home alone. Wherever I go, she goes. Yeah. Where are you going to go? I got to go take a leak. Looks like you've been up here before. A few times. So who's John? John? No, you mean Joanna. Bitch. What was that? 
Nothing. Hey, Greg. This isn't a racing circuit, Cooper. You keep riding like that, somebody's gonna get hurt. Sighted. 
But five hundred dollars for incident fine? Brian, that door is the only ventilation we have in this place. If you close that, we'll all end up with brain damage. You ain't gonna get brain damaged. Yeah, that's what you think. You see those two vapor monkeys over there? Those two are permanently defective. I don't want to end up like that. Or, or killed over with some dopey grin on my face. Like Dad? The city will close us down if we don't keep this place buttoned up. OSHA will shut us down if we do. That's the point, John. They want to shut us down. They're just looking for an excuse. Well, I'm not going to sit here and let them bury everything Dad spent a lifetime building for us just so a bunch of snobs can sit around sipping lattes and munching on biscotti. Brian. Dad died trying to keep this place open. I don't think that's what he really wanted for us. What do you know about what Dad wanted? You weren't even here. It's Tommy. I gotta go. Well, then go. Go ahead. Leave. That's what you do best, ain't it, John? Hey, Johnny, how you doing? Great. Peachy. Where are the girls? They're gonna meet us at the lake. Oh. Do you love him? Oh, God, of course I do. I've loved Tommy ever since I first saw him on the monkey bars in second grade. <laughs> I've been in love with Teresa since the first time I saw her in that tight varsity sweater our freshman year. So when do you think he'll finally get around to asking me the question? At the rate he's going? Never. <laughs> I swear, all he ever talks about is sex and money. These days, it is all about money. You don't care about money. Ah, oh, heck no. I'd live in a trailer park with Tommy if he asked me to. But all he ever talks about is this damn... Kenny the Closer? Kenny the Closer. My God, the man's a legend. He's an icon. He's, he's like the number one selling real estate agent in the entire Southwestern Corridor. And there is no way that I'm going to ask Teresa to marry me until I'm pulling down bucks like Kenny the Closer. Come on, Teresa doesn't care about your money. She loves you, man. If that's the case, then how come she won't... You never slept with Tommy? Nope, not once. Why not? Well, we did come close a couple times, but... What if we get married, and the first time we do it, it's like really bad sex? Tommy, there's no such thing as really bad sex. from toxic fumes. Just doesn't know it yet. You keep working there, he'll be taking you with him. That's what you came back for? Nah. Not for that. I never did thank you. For what? Wrecking your engagement with Greg? No. From saving me from a big mistake. I like saving you. Come on, you weed! You're not coming to it. So dead. Get in here! Oh my God, that's Lady G. Who? It's Lisa. It's Lisa's. Okay, I I'm not even gonna ask how both of you know that. What you got there, Cooper? That's Lisa's snake, isn't it? What are you doing here? What, you think I came all the way up here just to spy on you? Didn't you? Guys, this is official. 
missing persons report. Lisa didn't show up at home this morning. Well, she's a bit on the wild side. Yeah, you know, wouldn't you? You used to date her. Everybody used to date her. Greg, uh, Deputy Greg? Deputy Greg, come in. We found something. Let me take that. Please do. God, you're such a girl. How do you know Lisa? Everybody knows Lisa. So, what do you think? I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think either. You ever seen anything like this before? Never. Neither have I. Any idea what might have caused it? Nothing in my mind. Nothing in my mind either. Hi, Chris. Uh, we think we found Lisa's body. It's not pretty. Oh, no. Hey, uh, didn't you used to date her? Everybody used to date her. God tell you, Griff. Whoever pulled this one has a real mean streak. She's burned to the bone. Yeah, but with what? I'm guessing acid. Sulfuric, hydrochloric. Battery. I don't know. Oh, no more until I get her up on the table. Tell you the truth, this looks more like an industrial accident than a murder. Oh, this was no accident. You know, Rose and I saw Lisa and that damn snake of hers leave the diner last night with Roberta Keeler. Nobody's seen her since either. All I know is burns like that don't happen just going for a midnight swim. What you got, Greg? John Cooper. Just ran into him over at the watering hole. He had Lisa's snake with him. He has been working over at Perfecto with his brother since he got back. Yeah, 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 with all that acid. What do you think, Griff? Worth a little talk with him? Oh, I don't know. I mean, if that's Lisa, where's Roberta? I mean, is she missing? Did she do this? I guess it wouldn't hurt to check and see what John was up to last night. Go ahead. Yes, sir. I'll get an APB out for Keeler, too. Good. This is great! What's great? Oh, we finally get to grill that asshole who stole your girl. What do you mean, we get to grill? Well, you're not going to grill him? Oh, I didn't say that. I knew it. I knew it. Good cop, bad cop. And when we are done with him, he's going to be confessing to the JFK hit. When do we start? I got it covered, Lou. What are you talking about you got it covered? What, you're not going to let me help? Come on, you, you, you got to let me help. Please, I, I promise I won't say a thing. I, I'll be a fly on the wall. I, I won't say anything. Please, please. All right, but you don't say one word. Not one not word. Not one word. Now, listen to this. I'm supposed to be showing the Baxter place tomorrow, okay? Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. 6% of 150K, I haven't even run the comps yet. Oh, shit! What? I was going to take some Polaroids to go with the comps, and I left the damn camera up at the Redstone Estates. No biggie. Just pick it up after and drop me off. I can't. I've got to get back to the office. Pick it up afterwards. Well, Teresa and I are going to the show tonight. If we don't get out by five, there's no way we're going to make it. Oh, I am so screwed. I'd go get it for you. Would you? Yeah. Thanks, man. That's very cool. That's so <laughs> hey, hey, Tommy! You going to close the deal on that Baxter place tomorrow? I hope so. Hope? Oh, hope is for losers, kid. you got to know some. Me, I'm showing Redstone tonight. Model D. Prospect is hot to, to trot. You think I'm hoping? Hell no. You know what I'm... Hey, hey, you scratch it, I'll hang your balls like fuzzy dice from my mirror. You got that, Billy? You got it? You piece of monkey shit. Anyway, I'm going to ask you one more time. And this is Kenny the Closer that's asking you. Are you going to close that deal? Yeah. Are you going to close that deal? 
Oh, yeah. Are you going to close that deal? Hell, yeah! That's the ticket! Ka-ching, baby! <laughs> What's going on? Somebody done gone out and got themselves murdered. Murdered? Yeah, Lewis told us to sell. Where? Yeah? No, no, no. Up at the reservoir last night. Lisa Johnson. You know that's crazy. Look, he may be irresponsible, but there's no way that he would... Hey. Brian. Why don't you sit down for this? It's all right. I'd rather stand. Where were you last night? Between 10 and 12 p.m.? You think I murdered Lisa? Murdered? Nobody said anything about a murder. What makes you think there was a murder? Lenny and Boone told me. Oh, yeah? And just how did they know? They said you told them. Oh, yeah. yeah I guess I did. Lewis? Why don't you let John in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. But I'll be watching you, mister. So? Come on, Greg. Are you gonna answer the question? Where were you last night? I was at Kristen's place. Is she willing to confirm that? Of course she would. Here. Ask her yourself. You want me to dial? I know the number. Yes, my Lucian. Yes. Time to work. Rudolph? Yes. Special Agent Parker would like to see you in answer. What took you so long? You look absolutely gorgeous today. Francesca, please. <laughs> You're so sweet. So, what have you got for me today? Something that will excite me, I hope? Follow me. Hmm. Use your imagination, Mrs. I mean, Francesca. That is such a beautiful name. Thank you. My late husband used to call me Fran. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, you are anything but a Fran. Imagine a cool winter night. You and the one you love staring into the flames. Maybe a little incense? Yeah. Candlelight. Ooh. You make me want it right now. Let me show you what I've got in the back. I'd rather see what you've got in front. <laughs> no, 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 no. The master suite. Mm. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Mm. <laughs> Just use your imagination. Oh, I am. <laughs> Very favorite room in Redstone Estate. <laughs> oh. mm. Floating chameleons. 
Mm. Shall I? Please do. <laughs> What the hell have you gotten us into? This is horrible. It's such a loss. You knew those men? No, 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 not the men. The specimen. You can always get more men, but... But the specimen. The specimen is irreplaceable. What exactly do you do, doctor? I'm a herpetologist. So you specialize in reptiles? Mm-hmm. Is that what Biogene was transporting? Not in the traditional sense. No. What, um... What we had was, uh, Something unique. An evolutionary chimera of immense physiological scale. Something with unparalleled abilities and characteristics. A hybrid, if you will, integrated from a variety of distinct serpentine species. You hide behind a lot of big words, Doctor. But what you just said still doesn't tell us what we need to know. We know the flight originated in Southeast Asia. The authorization came from the State Department for the use of a transport out of Guam. But nowhere in the manifest is there so much as a mention of exactly what it was you were transporting. So I'm asking you, Doctor, in simple layman's terms, what was it? Well, in simple layman's terms, a very big snake. Oh, oh my God, it's huge! It's enormous! I just can't handle it! It's too much! You, oh. you can do it, baby. I know you can. 30% down, 8.9% financing for the first two years. You can do it, baby! It's just so much more than I expected. Isn't there anything I can do to get you to go down? All right. 20% down, 8.5% financing with a ballooning mortgage to 12.9, and that's the best deal you're going to get from anybody. <laughs> what was that? Sound like the garage. <laughs> Damn kids are after my car. Wait here! All right, 15% down, 7.5% financing with a ballooning mortgage to 12.9%, and that's the best you're gonna get from anybody. Think about it! Don't sign with anybody till I get back! Cut string, baby! Billy? You little creep! Your ass is... 
is mine now! Anybody here? Kenny? Kenny? Cool. Kenny? Hello? Why would Biogene want a giant snake? Calling it a snake misses the point. As I said, it was unique. Just the study of how it projects its corrosive digestive fluids could prove invaluable for military applications. This thing pukes acid? Well, you could put it that way, yes. What it actually does is, is to draw up its stomach acid into sacs located here. Once there, it contracts those sacs with powerful muscles, which allow it to shoot this highly caustic acid with incredible force, much like a cobra spits its venom to subdue its prey. Look at these. 
The cockpit hatch was torn open wide enough to berth a whale through. Yes, its size and strength were impressive, but now your people have managed to kill it. Maybe not. Looks like your pet might have some life left in him. What? There were no remains found in the wreckage, human or otherwise. It would only have eaten those men if they were still alive. Are you saying this thing ate the crew and survived the plane crash? Yes, it's, it's possible. But if it's still alive, then we have a chance to capture it and perhaps kill it. Agent Parker, this specimen is a biological gold mine. The DNA alone is worth millions. You could scrape your DNA off whatever's left. We've already lost an entire flight crew. And by now, we may even have collateral losses. <laughs> collateral losses? That's a rather antiseptic way of describing death, don't you think? We'll keep it small. I want this thing solved before anyone even knows there was a problem. I'm on it. You have no idea what you're up against. You don't know my men. This is not some garden snake you're going after. We are talking about a perfect killing machine. A 129-foot all-terrain vehicle capable of speeds exceeding 50 miles an hour with skin that can deflect an anti-tank round, enhanced night vision, and a voracious appetite for human flesh. It will slaughter your men before they have a chance to blink. I don't know what it was. Some kind of big animal. They got a tail or something. Scales. Scales? I don't know. I just couldn't get a good look at it. It moved so quick. What about the bones? Bones? The bones, the ones in the garage? Yeah, Cooper. You give old Kenny a little acid bath? I don't know anything about bones. Stripped him clean? Hacked that woman's head off with a butcher knife? He's up, Lou. He's up my ass. Well, well, Greg found him red-handed with the murder weapon. That wasn't a murder weapon. Knife ain't got a drop of blood on it. Oh, come on. He could have wiped it clean. It had to be a big blade. A machete. Took her head off in one clean shot. What about the blood? Cooper did it. He'd be soaked in it. Come on, come on. You guys aren't telling me you're buying that crap about a big snake, are you? No, hell no. Besides, we hadn't found Roberta, and for my money, she's still a suspect. Well, now, Lou does have a point there, Griff. I mean, uh, the bones. The only thing can wash them that clean is acid. And the only place in this town with that kind of acid is their shop. Cooper? Yep. You don't have any plans to leave town this weekend, do you? I've been dying to use this stuff. I bet we could do that. Uh, maybe it just looks easy. Good point. I wish I had somewhere else to look. But right now, I got only one fact to work with. There's not a whole lot of places in this town where a, where a body can be stripped to its bones. I can't afford to be shut down. I can appreciate that, Brian, but I don't see any other way to handle this. My brother's not a murderer. What's going on? We're shutting you down, Cooper. Greg. Pick it up with the sheriff, John. Come on, Griff, give us a break here. I have only one break to offer, and it ain't much. Maybe, just maybe, you won't have to empty the tanks. Brian, I'm sorry. Hal, congratulations, John. You've managed to do what no one else could. Close the doors forever and perfect old plating. This is my fault, Brian. Well, whose fault is it, John? Mine? Fine. I quit. Hey, don't bother. You're fired. Oh, no, my bike! Oh, this is great. This is just fucking great. Is there anything else you can do to ruin my life? Don't push it, John. Don't tell me not to push it. You take away my job, you ruin my bike, you steal my girl when I'm gone for two seconds on a tour, 
to fucking ruin my life. Your life? I'm ruining your life. Fuck you. I was set to be married. I was going to have a house and a family. Yeah, my life was all planned out until you came back. She never loved you. You were just a shoulder to cry on. Oh, is that right? Yeah, well, maybe she did love me before you started banging her behind my back. <laughs> Take it off, deputy. Is that the badge and the gun? It's just you and me. This isn't the schoolyard, you know. I heard that. Like a girl, you are. Yes. Yes, yes. A coward. Dick what? Dick what? You okay, Deputy Greg? Yeah, everything's fine. Go back and play, kids. Everything's fine. Go on. <laughs> A pain in the ass, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about it, man. It's total. I'll buy you a new one. You don't get it, do you? You can't buy me another one of these. I know, it's just a bike. How much can it cost? 2400 bucks. That's not the point. This bike got me out of this dust hole, man. It's irreplaceable. I'm sorry, man. I have no idea. The sponsor gave me this prototype, right? State-of-the-art stuff, Shimano brakes, grip shifts, rock shocks. You know what I do with it? I gave it to Tommy. Give it to Tommy? Yep. I gave that bike to Tommy. Because this is the bike that mattered me the most. This is the bike that gave me what I thought I wanted. You know what I got at home? Bottom right drawer? Application to Quantico. FBI? Wrote it out four and a half years ago, never sent it in. Why not? <laughs> Right, some hip cop thinking he can play Elliot Ness. It's dumb. Please, can't be any dumber than some hick punk thinking he could ride pro. Yeah, but you did. You got out of here. Deputy, you are not answering your radio. Some hikers on a bike path just found another body. Sheriff Wade's already up there. Come on, let's roll, partner, let's roll. Luck on those bones we found in the garage. Check him the dental records with Hank. I'm hoping he can get a match with one of his patients. What in the hell could do this? I don't know. It's weird, very weird. But it's the same type of acid death we saw earlier. Acid. Acid. Do I have to say it again? John Cooper, acid. What's his motive? Yeah, and where's Roberta Keeler? Don't need dental records on this one. Yeah, only guy in town's got a fancy watch like that. It's Kenny Summers. It's a fake. So was Kenny. Greg, a little help here. Floyd's phone. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, why are you defending him? That asshole is probably boning your ex bitch right now. Don't ever talk about her like that. Do you hear me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Never talk about her like I'm that. I'm sorry. Hey, guys, give it a rest. Uh, that was Hank. 
They made a positive ID on the bones from the garage. It was Roberta Keeler. Okay, Lewis, you get your wish. You guys bring in John Cooper. Meet me back at the office. See? See, Sheriff? I'm a thinker. I'm a thinker. You know what I mean? I deserve it. Fun, a Floyd. Thanks. We're going to try the campground up at Crystal Lake. And if it's full, then, uh, I don't know, we'll play it by air. Where's John? Well, we should get going. What happened? Nothing. Greg and I just got in a little stuff. Greg did this to you? No, uh, Greg, we just sort of... How's it going, Lewis? I'd love to tell you about my emotional and physical well-being, Teresa, but I've got some unfortunate business to attend to. Excuse me. This might get ugly. John Cooper, you are under arrest. Now, extend your hands. I will frisk you downtown. Extend your hands! You gotta be kidding me. No, no, no. We found Bobby Taylor, Mr. Murderer, Mr. Killer, Mr. Acid Dipper of the Skin, and... Lewis! What the hell are you doing? I'm apprehending the suspect, Deputy. Need a gun? Right. Hand it over. Now, walk to your car, open the back door, put the suspect in the back seat. And what about the handcuffs? Everybody okay? You all right? You bastard! How could you do that to him? Can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Kristen. You probably hate him. You probably hate me, too. But that does not give you the right to abuse your authority and have him arrested. Kristen, I just want... I'm the one that left you. Don't take it out on him. It is not his fault. Okay, that's fine. And what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to move away from Ruby? You want to drive me from my hometown? Are you done? No. You guys used to be friends. Why don't you just have it out with each other and just settle it? We did. Because I'm not going to... What? I don't think John did it. And I'm going to prove it. Uh, let me see if I got this straight. You boys, uh, what department did you say you were from again? NSA. Okay. So, so you got this, uh, this... An uh, operative. Yeah, an operative. It's, uh, this real Rambo type. This guy makes Rambo look like Richard Simmons. Uh-huh. And, and you've had this man locked up in a cage since 1974? In a metal box. In a metal box, in a military psychiatric unit, and somehow he escaped, and he's the one that done all these murders. And that's about the size of it. Any questions? Uh, just one. Uh, do you expect me to believe this load of horse yet? Let me put it this way, Sheriff. It would be highly expedient if you would believe this horse shit. These cuffs are too tight. Oh, yeah? Well, you're gonna have to get used to it. Better? You be the bad cop for a change. For real? You don't mind? I mean, this isn't some pothead we call it. This is a real life murder suspect. No, I've uh, had my fill of being bad cop. Lewis, doesn't Wade keep a gun in the bottom right drawer in there? The suspect. Mm -hmm. Check in the desk drawers, did you? No. Oh, that's right. Play innocent. Book this in evidence, deputy. It's not my gun. I didn't even touch it. He's right, Lou. Yeah. Technicalities. Always the dad burn technicalities. 
killers screaming for their rights. But what about the victims' rights, mister? What about the victims? Want to call a lawyer? Yeah, that's a ticket. Hide behind some cat tooth F. Lee Cochran type shark. And that's not going to help your sorry ass boy. No, sir. Not in Ruby. No, sir. You want to know why? Do you want to know? Because I am the law here. Cut him loose. Sheriff! You heard me, mister. I am the law. Sorry for any inconvenience, John. Does this mean... Can I leave town now? I had plans. Yeah, yeah, fine. Just be on your way now. Have a good time. Say hey to Kristen for me. Yeah. I'll do that. What is this place? It's an emergency water treatment facility. Fully automated. The Army Corps engineer has built it underground so it would be secure, even in the event of a nuclear war. It'll keep your snake out. Here's the crash site. Our position is here. Bodies have been found here, here, and here. This, we believe, is our target. You don't have enough men. That's not your concern. This team will do what they were trained for. After that, I don't care if you carve up the carcass and open up a rib joint. Bottom line, this thing dies today. You don't seem to realize the opportunity you're wasting here. Consider the potential for weapons research. New neurotoxins, antidotes for those created by your enemies. Intriguing, Mr. Parker? I'm not as mercenary as you may think, Doctor. I am concerned with the loss of life. Now, I didn't know that flight crew. But once I signed on to this little scheme of yours, they became my men. No one else dies because of this thing. Do you understand that? Oh, yes, I understand. I just hope your snake here does. satellite passes over only once every three hours. The next pass is in 72 minutes from now. When that occurs, I want us to be in position. Once we have the current confirmed location of the target, we'll take it out. I want this thing nailed before dark. Excuse me, um, what's this here? This red line? No, nah, radar echo. Local law enforcement has established roadblocks at all major access points on our perimeter. Dutson will coordinate operations from here. I will be leading Alpha Team down this approach. Bravo Team, you'll flank the perimeter. Stay in contact. Once we have a lock, we'll dig in and start shelling the hell out of this thing. When we have a confirmed kill, we'll go in and mop up. in position. Downloading. Dutes in status. Target appears stationary at the original coordinates. Same as before. 
It hasn't moved in three hours. That seem right to you? Well, it, uh, it's consumed a great deal lately, uh, far exceeding its normal diet. It's possible that the high caloric intake has induced uh, a respite in its metabolic activities. Meaning? It's having a little uh, siesta. Let me know when you have a visual. I've got him, sir. Visual confirmation, a quarter quick southwest of my position. Right where the bird showed it would be. All units, lock and prepare to open fire on my command. Time to put your baby to bed. Bravo unit ready. Tactical confirming. Both units show in position and ready. Take her out. Sounds like a damn war in there. Boys will be boys. So you want to go in? Lewis. Target destroyed, sir. No movement. I repeat, no movement. Kill confirmed. All units move in. Break out your petri dishes, Doc. Time to clean up. All right, everyone. Let's move out. We got work to do. Kill confirmed. Target destroyed. We blew the guts out of it, sir. Shed its skin. You knew this. You knew it was malting. No, 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 I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I, I swear. Uh, I should turn you into snake bait. What happened? It was a setup. The snake shed its skin, and the doctor knew it. No, I didn't know. I suspected, based on the surveillance photos, but I couldn't be certain. But, sir, it was here. I saw it move. We were decoyed. I warned you it was intelligent. I told you this isn't just some common snake. Well, if it was here, then where is it now? Stay it out! Take cover! Protect yourself! Wait. What? Don't move. Trust me. 
Yeah, it plays way better in black and white. Hey, where's your mom? Mom? I cut her up into tiny pieces and I stuffed her in the freezer in the basement! <laughs> Seriously, where is she? She's visiting her sister in Walla Walla for the weekend. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. So we have this place just to ourselves? Uh-huh. So it's like... Just you and me? Uh-huh. Just us? So it's like, uh, it's just Tommy and Teresa time? Uh-huh. Jesus, what got into season? God! <sighs> You know where the couch is? Make yourself comfy. The shower upstairs is broken, so you use the one downstairs, but I'll be there in the morning, so don't even think about checking out the goods. But I told John and Kristen that we picked them up at 6 a.m., so um, I get some rest because 5 a.m. comes around really early. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Uh, bed bugs? Dude. Come on, Greg, I'm tired. I, I want to go home. What happened to all that let's go get the bad guys? Okay, okay, so I've learned my lesson, all right? Which is? I've got to be patient. I've got to let the evidence come to me. That's right. I'll try to get some sleep. I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Wake up. Showtime. Hey. hey. I'm up. I'm up. Jeez.
Dude, you got me out of bed for a snake? Maybe we should go over there. Wait here. Not in here. Teresa? Teresa! Mommy? Teresa! Griff, any word yet? No. Not a peep. You heard any more fireworks? Negative. 
Maybe you should check on them. Yeah, maybe I should. I'll wake Lewis up. Wake up, sleepyhead. Time to catch the bad guys. Lewis? Lewis? If you're not up when I get over there, I'm gonna kick your ass. Hey! What is that? I don't know. Come on! Slow down. Forget that. It looks clear. What is this place? I don't know. No! You hear that? Oh, yeah. No! You blind. Wrong. Why? <laughs> Who the hell is he? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Sir? Already I had fixed my gaze upon him, and he rose upright with breast and countenance, as if he entertained some great scorn of hell. Python. He's in shock. So blind. So wrong. Not until I stared in its eyes and saw the dead all around me. Not until then did, did I realize what I'd done. Maybe it evolved naturally. Maybe it's been out there all along and we just never knew it. Perhaps it's some kind of mutation. We certainly dumped enough Agent Orange on Southeast Asia during the war. But if it has all these features from all these different kinds of snakes like you say it does, it couldn't have evolved naturally. Yeah, but maybe it didn't. Maybe it was created in some kind of secret government operation. What? I've seen a hundred times in the movies. They're always doing stuff like that, right? Well, actually, he's correct. We considered the possibility ourselves. We just never knew. That's why we were so eager to get it back to the lab to examine it. Did we forget to lock the door? Lock it? We didn't even close it. Shit! What's with the towel? You got time. Are you telling me you couldn't take it out with all this? They never had a chance. They emptied their entire arsenal out of shed skin. There's no way the snake could take this much heat. If you can hit it. What if we lured it down here? 
What are you, out of your mind? Look, let's just wait it out. Sooner or later, it's bound to get hungry and move on. You, you must understand. It's still basically a snake. Even at its size, it could go a month without feeding. Right outside that door. There's not enough food in here for us to wait that long. And if it did decide to leave, where do you think it would go? Ruby. Oh my God, the whole town is like an all-you-can-eat special. And I sure don't want to wait around here to see what's going to happen. So what do you say? How about it? Well, I say we kill the motherfucker. Sheriff, wait. Come on, Griff. Come on, Griff. Greg, can you hear me? Kristen, is that you? Greg? Kristen, what are you doing on this channel? Greg, we need your help. Listen. Oh, wish me luck, baby.
Nice job, John. I thought it would be bigger. What happened? Python must have torn out the antenna leads. They crashed through the bunker. So what do we do? We have to reset the detonator. Here. Could you please take her? Take good care of her for me. She's all I've got. What are you talking about? Redemption. Where is he going? Stuck! Don't go in there! John! Um, uh, okay, could, uh, yes, you take, could you take this? Could, stop to be kidding. survived a plane crash and the major explosives. Won't burn, can't shoot it. Any suggestions? The plating plant! The acid! Think we could dump this in one of those tanks of yours? Got me eight. Go fish. Do you even know how to play this game? Go fish. What the hell are you doing? No time to explain, Bri. But let's just say there's this little... Little! Big. Big thing after us. Well, actually, it's after the whole town, really, but... What the hell are you talking about? That. <laughs> what is that thing? Bri, show them where the wind controls are. What for? Just show me! Go, 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 go! I'll bring it to you. No, you was right last time. I'll do it. No, it's okay. I'm getting hang this thing now. All I gotta do is get its attention first. Like this! Got your attention! Go, go! The tools are right there. Grab what that. What do we do? Get a wrench, get a wrench. Okay.
Sorry, son of a bitch. You used the Spassky maneuver at the end there. Well, next time I'll be prepared and use the Fisher counter move. Very well. Jeez, you guys, what's it been, like six hours? Get off life. Especially when being hunted by a giant reptile with bad breath. This is the one for you. Now on, you can call me Special Agent Larston. You got in? I got in. Great! The FBI's gonna be proud to have you. Maybe help you kill a giant acid spitting snake, pulled some strings with the boys out at Quantico. We're gonna miss you down here. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys too. I think it's time I went out in the world and tried to figure out some of the things you did. So I just get a little crowded around here, you know? Tell me about it. We've been swamped since opening day. Mm -hmm. A man in your shoe condition should not be drinking. Congratulations, step boy. What? We're pregnant. I'm gonna have a baby. I'm gonna have a baby! 